all right welcome to this uh new video so i uh, realize that i haven't uh been updating this thing so that's something that i want to get done probably at the end of uh this video so i need to update the the recent changes in this but the server is running almost uh i uh almost finished i should say but we're gonna look at adding tabs in this video i guess and uh, i think you could also look at uh adding probably a, a cursor maybe so we'll consider those in this video if if i do have time but the main is just uh i just making our app header look uh better in my opinion at least i can you now open a browser which i probably should have done already development browser and in here in uh, I I'm thinking of putting putting it below below the main header so, so that would be uh, below these tabs that are here that's that uh, uh, this should be local host is is 80 All right, so this is what our website basically looks like at the moment, and you can see that we have our uh, home being highlighted, and also our these are still good. We only want to get this one uh, up to. We only want this. We want to get the logo and others up to scale. So I'm considering whether or not I should put like a a little uh, what's it that hamburger icon and when you click on it you can see the other uh, options you can have some more adobe in assets but i'm not sure because i'm gonna get them to the user i want the user to be able to see stuff like that so i'm considering what i'm gonna do is just to probably make a component because we have these that we need to add as well I was thinking that we could probably make a component and put them uh, below or I have them in the hamburger icon even though we still have to have them in the hamburger icon for uh, mobile uh, persons who are using mobile because and that's mostly that's gonna be most persons so in here I'm gonna put normally what I would do is I'll put these in in folders if I'm using Nox I would put them in folders but because it's a small project just for now we can just leave them as is and i could just put a app uh tabs and i'm just gonna keep the consistency of using app in pretty much all of these components i don't know why, but i'm just gonna do that all right so i'm gonna go to these uh i don't want that one i'm gonna look for the best one well i don't know well the one with the drop down i guess I don't want the center one here looks good. So I'm gonna grab the center one. Probably I could put put it to the left. I'm gonna grab the left one. Yeah. So I'm gonna grab the left one and put put it to the left so that it doesn't really align exactly under there. But if it doesn't look as good, then I'm gonna change it. I'm definitely gonna change it. But this is what I was also thinking about. But I, I think we'll have enough not to need the drop down which is what i was looking at it because i think it, that was kind of cool so i was actually looking at that but in here let's add our uh template tags and uh paste that so we're going to use the three and i'm going to take this uk uh, active class off of here because we really don't we don't need it and I don't want to show active without not necessarily being active. So that's that. Okay. So yep, I can save this and uh and leave that. So save this and in our app header, that's where I'm gonna just uh get this component, just add it somewhere along the lines of I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna put it right 
uh, I'm thinking I will put it inside the nav, but I'm just gonna put it below the nav, and you can see from there. I don't think I'm not sure if they have a if HTML has a default uh, uh, tab elements. I'm gonna just use tab, and in here I'll just import it as that. So I'll just say import tabs from and we're going to go to the source component slash uh, app tab. Uh, it seems to not be getting it, but uh, that's cool. Uh, so that's that. Uh, so now we can basically register it. So components, and this will be our app. Apps. here we go so it seems like it seems like i have to use uh actual name which is weird i think as long as i'm getting it from that search it doesn't matter what the name is but let's just uh, do what we have to do to see what this looks like all right awesome so now we have our tabs uh to the left here but i think this spacing is just way too much and i thought this thing had an underline so where's the underline i thought it had an underline there i guess not probably was just a divider so they had a horizontal rule there i'm not sure but let's see if we can get that to fix better and uh this I think we can probably remove this div here because we're only gonna have this one root element here and at the same uh, time I want to just add the links that are going to be here and I'm gonna change all of those to, to uh, router links you I may not have changed them as yet but I'm gonna change all of them eventually so just bear in mind uh, for me with that and uh, I just realized that I actually I'm going to use the drop down. I just realized that uh, the drop down is what I'm going to actually use because we're actually going to have some drop downs for those uh, links that we have there. So let me just copy this one and uh, then we can paste it here. There won't be anything uh, major changing. So uh, what we can do now is that we can just grab the class here and uh, then it will align to the, to the right, which is what we want, or it, which is what we wanted, I should say. Uh, and now we can get rid of this and also this. And I can bring, uh, what I'm gonna do is, there's only one drop down, so I am going to get rid of uh, the well I can leave at least one of them it doesn't matter but most of these are going to be drop downs so because we're gonna have some, some other external stuff that we're going to add to this well some other uh, links that are gonna come are attributes that are gonna come under these so that's why I want to do it like this so I'm just gonna copy some of these and uh, use uh those so and i can get rid of this actually i'm gonna get rid of them because we really won't we won't need we really won't need them so now all i have to do is just cut these now and uh paste them in here that's students and we have teachers and alumni so this is gonna have obviously once you just looking at them you can realize that yes these are definitely going to have some other uh tabs related uh some other links related to these so yeah news departments and services i'm not even sure if it, how many uh well we'll find out and these are stuff that can always be implemented so yeah 
our department and services and i think the last one and that's why i probably shouldn't have deleted those as yet but the last one is going to be a link more than likely the give so just in case schools may need donations at time so especially for students who probably are needy or whatever especially now in the corona time that everyone has to go online and probably not everyone will have uh, a computer or whatever so i think having something like a give uh, button or whatever there is pretty, it's pretty cool uh, for the time being i'm just gonna put this to be a dead link so we can save this and check it out in the browser Alright, so this is what it looks like, but it's definitely not where it's supposed to be. So we have the drop downs, but we have to click them. So I'm gonna fix uh, that. And uh, I think I wanna get these centered to the middle and uh, see if I can remove some padding and uh, margin from this thing here. So in here, uh, okay, so I think where I made the mistake. The, okay so i the flex thing i don't know why I, I didn't have the flex thing to the left so to the right actually i'm gonna put a container class around this thing so i'm gonna have class and i'm gonna have a uk container and also the flex to the right and now i'm just wondering we do i really want to put it to the right or maybe i just leave it in the middle and i'll see if i can get the, the 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 margin removed so i'm gonna say uk margin remove uh yeah i think that's not removed uh is it removed or removed i think it's removed so save that and uh you can check it out in the browser this is yes, that's supposed to look like that. Uh, what happened? What just happened? All right, awesome. So it's it's sort of it's not in the middle. It's to the left. It's just that uh, we now have uh, we now have the container. But I actually think I'm gonna it's to the right. I should say. I'm actually gonna just. Uh, give them the leave it with the content and just leave it in the middle i think i'm perfectly okay with that the margin uh can i remove from top so i wanted to remove everything but it doesn't really seems like everything is being removed but it's cool uh and we're gonna give these to hover but it's it's pretty fine so far uh what i want to do as well is that i want to add a parcel or a slider so that's something that i'm going to add because i have the time uh in a sense i guess so uh where is that sliders all right so uh do i want to call it carousel or do i want to call it slider i call it carousel uh so in our components i'm just going to create a component called app carousel dot view and let me get this here and then we'll just make our template tag and our scaffold i should say and uh my favorite slider of this thing is a very small i think i'm the wrong one slide shows that's but i want this because i want it to auto play so that's good so i'm going to copy this auto play here and i'm going to paste it right in here as our root element and uh then in here we can put the slider so uh it's a slideshow actually it's not, it's not a slider so my favorite one is a very small 
it has it, the height is not as as large as the rest of them which i think is one so i'm just gonna copy this here so we'll we'll look at that further on going on to the in the video further down in the video or in the series i should say let me push this down a bit and i want to grab and uh, i'm just gonna borrow this image again and i really need to get my own images i definitely need to get my own images but i'm just gonna borrow these for now and i'll just paste that there and this here and also this here and we can change the ratio right here so that's something that we can do we can always do that all right so now in our uh it's not gonna be in the app header i'm gonna put it in the app component because the carousel is not is really not really part of the app or I, i'm gonna put it in the home component actually because we don't want it on every page what we want it on is basically only the uh we only want it on on the home com the home uh view and actually what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna cut uh these and put this in a in another tab because i want the component i want the the header not to be confined to not the header the car so i don't want it to be confined to the container class so that's why i'm doing that whatever else is in there is going to be in the container class but for the for the 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 uh the carousel uh i'm not gonna have that in the container i want it to uh take the entire screen uh with so that's why i'm taking it out so up carousel and then we can go ahead and import this so down here now i'm gonna refactor these uh in i guess in the videos coming up so let's import up carousel from uh component slash up carousel and then we can just get this registered here and uh, that's that so let's save this and look at it in the browser all right awesome so that's uh let's refresh this i don't know why this is looking like this is i have to be refreshing this thing so i'm gonna have to figure that out so this is basically what we have so far we have our main header uh we have some extra tabs here which we're going to be using and uh, we have our carousel which should automatically should slide by itself i don't know why it's not as yet but that's cool and we also have our different uh sections down here on our footer so this is our basic uh view of this thing for now i'm gonna uh, push this to uh the get up so you can uh see the live uh preview so when you come here you can see all the changes all right so that's pretty much it for this video uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one